So are love and attachment the same thing? What do you think, Winnie? I Who wants to do it? I'm looking at you guys. <laughs> um, I would say they are not the same thing, but they can go hand in hand to some extent. They um, love is a, a a choice, an action, a presence. It's it's many things, um, and attachment is more of a connection. And you can have an attachment that is not loving and is not healthy, and you can have an attachment that is. And so. Um, yeah, not the same thing, but ideally we would have loving attachments and connections in our relationships. I like that answer. I don't have any specific Bible verses to quote, to quote on that. though. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't think of any either, unless you can. I, think, Gina. I was gonna say, I think this is more of a dictionary definition, but I think that's really true. Like what I think of attachment, I think of like child development, like a, a baby has to attach to their mother or to some other human. Um, and if they don't, um, that's when they have something called, you know, like reactive attachment disorder, where they really, they can never trust. And if you can't trust, you really can't understand love in a lot of ways. So I think you like attachment is like you're saying, it's part of love. It's something you need to be able to love because, um, yeah, it's, you know, it's a step in that direction, but yeah, there's definitely attachment that is not healthy. It's not from God. And it's something that we need to unlearn on when we're attaching ourselves to the wrong thing, um, or the wrong part of a relationship with someone else. So, yeah. Or, yeah. or that attachment actually becomes like a form of dependency and so one way. And uh, mm -hmm. I mean, like when he was just talking about our cat, where every time I step out <laughs> to his outdoor cat, always there, but he's always sitting at our patio, always waiting for me to step out. And I'm there and he starts yelling for me, Jay, Jay, please come feed me. Jay, please come spend time with me. And it's like his whole existence is just for me to be there and, and be with him. And it's just to the point where it's almost unhealthy. And he's a very traumatized cat. He can't, he's come a long ways. We're very proud of him, but he's still not, not like healthy level for eat, for him. And as people, yeah. I think I've heard other people talk about our attachment also should always, it, the ideal attachment is going to be us with God, because mm -hmm. when we are properly attached to God and we mm -hmm. depend on him, really lean on him, we can never be dependent on God to the point of being unhealthy. I mean, Maybe I could be wrong, but I, God can give and provide beyond any other human's abilities. And mm -hmm. when someone who has strong attachment needs tries to attach to a human, they are inevitably, inevitably going to be disappointed because that other person is going to burn out. They're going to get drained and mm -hmm. not be able to keep going. Whereas God says, yes, please. I am an infinite source of, mm -hmm. of love, infinite source of resources so lean on him and then when we're doing that we're leaning on him we get back what we need and then we can give to others absolutely amen